What's up guys, it's Payne and I'm going to show you how to stream music to from your FUBAR 2000 to your phone or to your PlayStation 3 or any other UPnP enabled device. The first thing you want to do is go to this website I'm going to give you in the description below. It's going to have this UPnP slash DLN, DLNA renderer server control point component file. You want to go ahead and read what you need to read. Scroll down and hit download it's going to ask you to save it to wherever you want to save it at then you're going to come up with this file right here foo slap foo underscore upnp dot fb2k component it's a component file uh the foobar 2000 program understands this file so all you need to do is just double click it it's going to open up foobar or in this case foobar was already open for me you're gonna it's gonna ask you to uh, say if you trust the website and hit yes then all you need to do is hit apply and it's gonna ask you to restart restart foobar 2000 you hit OK and it does that it's gonna pop back right over here in your taskbar and it should be installed and I'll make sure to put that link in the description for you guys to get this uh, component working for you that way you can stream your music to your uh, phone and your PlayStation 3 or other UPnP enabled devices for FUBAR 2000. So the first thing you want to do is go to the library and hit start UPnP media server like this and it's going to start it up and uh, if you want to configure the server you want to go ahead and go to file then preferences and all the way over here it should be under um, well I have everything expanded so it should be under UPnP then server and server uh, server this is just basic information if you want to read through that make sure that the server is started right here then you want to go through content and look through everything and see that just make sure you have the same things checked as me I'll leave this up for a few seconds that way you can look at it and you don't have to worry about streaming profiles or internet access unless you want to get into that you guys can google that and research that on your own but yeah that's just another thing you don't need to worry about so hit OK and make sure that the UPnP media server service is started you can check that by going to library and it should be a drop down menu that says stop UPnP media server that means that the server is on and running right now and all these playlists and your whole music uh, library will be streamed so any files any devices on your network that are UPnP enabled and to test this out we're gonna go to my uh, Galaxy S3 and get an app and look for the playlist that we can we can play them on our phone and confirm that this is working so I'll see you over my phone alright so we're on my phone now and we're gonna look for an app called Media House Pro so go ahead and type that in Should be Media House Pro, and uh, actually Pro is a pay version, so that's what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and down download this Media House UPnP slash DLNA browser. It's gonna allow you to um, stream music from your computer to your phone. So say if you're in your house and you don't want to look at your, uh, you don't want to go on your computer and listen to music, but you just want to uh, hook up your phone to your Wi-Fi network at home and just listen to music while you do dishes or whatever this is going to allow you to do that so go ahead and hit install I already have this on my phone so let me go ahead and switch over to it and look it's already right there it's going to see that uh... that we have the service going on you can go ahead and tap on that it's a foobar uh, 2000 service and it gives you uh... four ways to go through your files that you have on your computer you have browse right here and uh... playlists are the ones that you uh... Have created those are custom playlists like I have. Media library it allows you to um, go through uh, artists, albums, album artists, genres, years, compilations, codecs, a whole bunch of it, and you can even go through subfolders and folders like that, like I have set up on my computer. But that's going to take too long. I don't want to load up all my music. But yeah, this is just pretty easy. You can even make favorites with this app. I haven't had any favorites because I just I rarely use this app. Uh, sometimes but it might be useful for you guys so go ahead and you know if you like this video subscribe and uh, like like it if you like it 
whatever. That's fine by me. If you find this tutorial to be helpful, then uh, spread the word about it. I mean, I think it's pretty useful. My camera's just going haywire with autofocus. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Paint on Set 5, and I'll catch you guys later.